Hello guys, now, over today, I am presenting to you the Airflex 2076 scale Panzer IV tank from Airflex Media. To begin with, as usually, it's protocol, it's my protocol, and we've got the instruction sheet, and we've got assembly icon instructions, these things, safety advices, and everything, and the uh, History, English, Francish, French, German, Spanish, and Italian. Why not Italian? Well, to begin with, this looks like an also two old Airfix kit. As you can see, it's more they lots of wheels and little things stuff. We've got the turret assembly, we can build out of the Panzer IV, we can build from Airfix, we can build for two versions, the F1 with the short barrel gun and the F2 with the long barrel gun, as I prefer to do. We've got the hull assembly, the rear assembly with the detail, more detail, and tracks installation so I uh, with the turret. Now turn with we've got the camo shim or the paint shim. You can build two versions the F1 version with the small cannon or the F2 with the long barrel gun. In this version it says that you can build well one or two person, I don't believe I can't understand this. Well, you can either uh, build one or the other because here you have one turret, not like in the T34 that you have two turrets. You have to decide instead F1 or F2. You can build him, well, paint him in, uh, how do you say, Umbral 83. That's occur. And you know, I made some research, and in the red label box, you can build two, two, two. Well, there are two versions to build: one the F1 and F2. The F1, you can paint it in Panzer Gray, in Tank Gray, Panzer Gray, Panzer Grau, and the F2 in Ocker. Occur color as I did. Yeah, here, yeah. Well, now going to the box. Here we have the nice box, the nice uh, box art uh, in a Panzer IV in Africa. As I can deduce from the box, you've got two soldiers, one in MP40 and the Lugar one, and you've got the tank, Panzer IV F2 version. Yeah. Yeah. Gun. Oh, Panzer IV tank. Now going to the model. Here we go. The Panzer IV tank. Uh, F2 version. F L F2 in Africa curbs. You can see the the palm over there. The turret does rotate 360 degrees. The gun does elevate. And the press elevation and depression. And also, as in the Joseph Stanley Free, the gun was, is not drilled. You have to drill it out. So it holds up here on the barrel brake. Yeah, nice. The tracks were too long for the long for the whole suspension part so I had to glue them a few centimeters over the other so as the wheels they are quite very accurate and as you can see there are too many gaps to be filled at the turret there are some gaps and down there too the rear detail too Take the gun. 
correct it's last one of these uh, wheels over here of Netflix comes up here too. It's quite uh, fun to build it. Yeah, you can see many things of it. Well, I went to buy order two Panzer IV tanks. Went to do the F1 version uh, with Panzer Grey or F2 with person pa Panzer Grey too. I don't know which one. I think we go to the F1 F2. And I also want to buy another one to convert it to an Aus H to convert it to an Aus H with the extra armor on the side of uh, the sides of the turret and on the sides of the tank. I want to also to add them, attach some extra armor. Here a per truck. There we have typical knight Panzer IV. You have the equipment here, extinguisher, I believe it is, and other things. You can build it with the hatch open too. I would like to do that, but no, I prefer with them with them closed, closed. And as you can see here, you have to use apply some filler. I don't have it, and I won't. I don't want to. To, to my model to take longer to build, so I didn't apply it filler as some other models too were need. Well, this was the Panzer IV tank in 176 scale from Airfix. Comment and subscribe if you liked, or if you don't, because you don't have to like or subscribe. And check my other videos, please. And Continue building armor, IVs, airplanes, whatever you like to build. Yay! And bye bye, guys. Have a nice day!